In tonight's WGN Investigates, finding a notorious former Chicago police detective. In part one of our special coverage, we introduced you to a man who spent years behind bars for a crime he says he did not commit. State's attorney Kim Fox saying she would review his case and many others, but now nearly two years later, the reviews are still pending. WGN's Lourdes Duarte has tonight's WGN Investigates. In case after case, former Chicago police detective Reynaldo Guevara is linked to questionable police work, but he manages to stay under the radar. He's 78, retired, and faces no criminal charges. While the city of Chicago spends millions on murder cases he investigated decades ago. stop in San Antonio for the river and the Alamo. But a former Chicago police detective may have come here to disappear. So let's go. Mr. Guevara, I'd like to talk to you about what happened in Chicago. We'll get back to them in a minute, but first, let's catch you up on his life before the Lone Star State. It begins in the 80s in Chicago's humble park neighborhood. Guevara was a legendary detective at Area 5 headquarters, known as the closer for solving murder cases no other cop could. Detective Guevara had a very bad reputation on the street. It's been torture pretty much. I did uh, 23 years. Fast forward to today. I feel like I was dragged by the devil. This cop, this detective, have gotten away with it all these years. I wish my grandmother and my mother was here to celebrate this with me. Something's got to be done. Decades later, dozens of men say Guevara framed them, allegedly. I want him in jail. I want him to go through what I went through. By forcing confession. You're being accused of something you didn't do. And manipulating witnesses and evidence. And he even go to my house and eat. Real buddy buddy. Guevara did the same thing to all of us. Jock Rivera was convicted of murder in 1990 and spent 21 years behind bars. It was all a lie. It was all a frame up. His case was eventually overturned along with at least 14 others that Guevara investigated. In Rivera's case, a 12 year old boy, the only witness in a case with no physical evidence, recanted his testimony years later, saying Guevara forced him to lie. He was a kid, you know, children are easy to be manipulated, you know what I mean? And that's what they did with him. Rivera shared his story inside his new million dollar home. My beautiful windows, windows everywhere. <laughs> Paid for by Chicago taxpayers. Taxpayers are going to continue to pay out their pockets for this. So. After his wrongful conviction lawsuit versus the city and Guevara led to a $17 million jury verdict. All they could do now is rejoice with my kids. Yeah, I just got that too. And while the payment was substantial, Rivera struggles to find closure. You know, there's times I, mm, uh, you know, it still bothers me. It still troubles me. And uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I got my freedom, but there's a list of, of guys who are still sent in prison wrongfully by Detective Renato Guevara. In all, Chicago has paid $75 million to investigate, defend, and settle wrongful conviction lawsuits linked to Guevara. That includes $53 million in payments to Rivera and three other men with overturned cases and $20 million to private attorneys. It's on par with any police scandal in the history of this city. And it's only just the beginning. There are 11 wrongful conviction lawsuits winding through federal court, and more could follow if other cases are cleared. It could easily be 200, 300, or more million dollars before the day is done. As the dollars add up, I want my constitutional rights to remain silent. The man in the middle keeps quiet. Take the fifth refusing to testify, making the same simple comment again and again. <laughs> I'm not, not going to answer that. Why not? Because I don't wish to answer that. Those videotape depositions are some of the only times we've seen or heard from Reynaldo Guevara. While there are men waiting to see some movement in their cases, he has moved on retired 1,200 miles away right here in San Antonio. On down to San Antonio. 
15 minutes from the Alamo, a newly purchased home is where the former detective spends his nights. He collects two pensions from the city of Chicago that have already paid him a total of more than $1.2 million. Message in Y. But few have heard from him since he bought this home more than two years ago. I can try calling again. We looked for him for two days, and then he finally stepped foot outside. Let's go. Mr. Guevara, I'd like to talk to you about what happened in Chicago. Barely on his driveway, he spotted our camera, rushed inside, and shut the door. Sir, don't leave your dog out here. Mr. Guevara, don't leave your dog out here. Someone inside did eventually crack open the door, not for us, but for his dog, Twinkie. Twinkie! Is there any way we can talk to you for a few minutes? And just like that, Guevara disappeared again, saying nothing about the investigations that have cost the city millions. Come here, Papa. Come on, jump. Good girl. And people like Jock Rivera. Mm, my baby years behind bars. There's times I just sit on my, my deck and I, and I cry. I just cry, it's just uh, that something like this could not you know, take place in the United States of America. Even though more than a dozen convictions have been thrown out, there are no criminal charges against Guevara. One reason is that he's pled the Fifth Amendment, which protects him from some criminal liability. An expired statute of limitations is thought to be another factor, with many of these cases taking place decades ago. The city did not comment on our report. State's attorney Kim Fox says she continues to work on her review of the convictions. I'm Lourdes Duarte, WGN Investigates.